Hello and welcome back to the farm. Uh, it is mid-September and finally we've got dry enough days and um, uh, and uh, Elizabeth free enough to come and help us with the harvest. Uh, so she's already got started. She's off there in the combine. I am following up in the fast track uh, doing the carting. Uh, we are going to keep an eye on uh on her and uh, see how uh she's getting on and basically follow her around the field uh because this barley is looking fairly good uh we've got a a, a decent uh, amount on here it's quite thick uh we'll see what the actual yield is like i want to see how well the combine is uh picking up let's just get under here a little bit and yeah we're not we're not getting uh too much drop and stuff in the uh, from the back of the combine so that all seems good so hopefully we'll get quite a good yield off here um this combine should make fairly short work of this field uh it's for, for what this combine could do it's not a huge field uh it, she's going to do three headlands around it before uh cutting in uh, and we're not going to get many lands in the middle of the field it will be uh, yeah, it'll be a, a couple because I think the way we, we planted this is straight up and down the field uh, lo Along the sort of the long edge um, as long as we make sure the tank on the combine is empty before She uh, attempts a cut in we should be okay. So uh, yeah, we'll keep close eye on that uh, We're right down by the river here. This is uh, yeah the furthest extent of our farm up the top ends here uh, we do have this nice little road going down the back here would make uh field 32 over that bit over there quite a good choice along with the one next to it um but yeah no no easy crossings here so uh the other side of the river is a little bit out of bounds for us it is a massive field that the farm has the other side of that it's just ridiculously big so yeah not something that we can um not something i think that we can uh help out with or anything at the moment um but uh yeah as the farm grows i think uh, i think it might didn't have much of an idea of how full the combine would be as we went around the field as it is uh i'm i'm told that it's about 70 percent full at the moment i uh, got about eight thousand liters in the tank which is perfect for us to empty actually as we're going along this back stretch here along the side of the field that we've still got as grass here so let her have enough space to turn around uh, and then what we'll do is we'll empty going along that side there uh, before she gets stuck into the second uh, headland here and cutting that um, so that will be uh, that will be quite useful I mean we'll have well, with, uh, with 8,000 litres on the combine, we'll have just over half a trailer full. Uh, probably about 65% of the trailer full uh, by, the time the, uh, by the time we've emptied. Going in. Yeah, there we go. Makes that nice little area there to make sure she can turn properly. And then we'll just pull in beside here. And this is the bit that worries me. I'm going to have to wait. Oh, wow. I'm hoping this first... Uh, this first one is completely in the way. The second bale shouldn't be, though. Oh, no. These bales are absolutely in the way. I'm, I have to hope that she is not full by the time she gets to the end of the field. And then we'll have to uh, empty out as she starts the second headland. Because, yeah, otherwise, we're going to have an issue. There we are. Neatly cleaned up that bit at the corner at the beginning. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, I was hoping those bales weren't going to be in the way, but the length of that auger is huge. Uh, much much bigger than the uh, the actual uh, than the actual uh, header is so uh, we get a quite a good distance away from the combine while we're emptying but at the same time uh, it's uh, it's a little bit misleading there we go 
and that'll empty and we'll go as well empty as we're going I'm getting better at this unloading thing now it's uh, headlands present a little bit more of a challenge because they have the whole thing of uh, not really having a straight route to go so you're constantly having to look back and forth whereas if you're emptying in the middle of the field and in a cutting you're actually fairly good we might get a full load off this or very much nearing it certainly that is still filling up but I think it's yeah it's basically we're it's going straight into the tank and straight out it will fill to the end of this bit Whoa. There. there we go yeah yeah wait as she turns that is a fairly full looking trailer so i'm gonna uh, get some more grain in the tank i think and then uh what we'll do is we'll empty as we're coming back down that far side just top the trailer off and uh, and go and unload for the first time and as she starts on this side here we want a couple of thousand liters that should be just enough to get us to empty and go from there let's pull it up and we should be all good We'll just slow that down a little bit. And we're topped off. There we go. Let's go and get this tipped. And uh, hopefully she won't have a full tank by the time we get back. So as I mentioned in my last vlog, we have been putting some uh, chicken wire across here. Just sort of protecting the barley that we've got. Um, because uh, yeah our chickens roam very close to this storage area and um, we don't want them just sort of eating all this barley so we uh yeah we we put some uh some wire across the front here stop them getting in here making sure that uh the barley is kept separate from the chickens um we've got a uh we've got our barley that we had uh, previously from our our first uh lot in here uh, that is uh, down here as well uh, looking like we're gonna have a decent amount of barley uh, on the farm uh, from these two fields this year which is great news you know to have a first year's worth of uh, barley that is uh, that is of a decent amount will be good and there we go and next year we're definitely going to be adding at least one more arable field to the farm uh, in the form of the bottom little bit of field 35. I think that that should be good. I, I might wait, though, to see exactly how much we have uh, from... Uh, or how, how good the land is around here. As I said, one of the things we're going to get done after this year's harvest uh, is some soil samples taken. It's going to cost us a little bit of money to do it. It's, we didn't have the money when we first started this year to have the soil sampled. Um, but it's it's very much, uh, I've been advised that it's something we should, we should do. Uh, make sure that everything we're doing is, um, is absolutely right. And, uh, and we'll go from there with it, really. There we go. And, yeah, Combine's doing well. This will be the uh, third and final headland uh, for the Combine. Um, and so that should be all good. Get the Combine emptied again. Uh, Elizabeth has told me that the Combine is getting a little bit low on fuel. She thinks she's probably got enough to do this field. Um, but we're going to monitor the situation and uh, and if it gets too low um, What we'll do is we'll we'll stop and I'll uh, I'll go and grab a uh, I'll go and grab some fuel for the combine so that we can uh, we can get it sorted Unfortunately, we don't have any it down at the farm at the moment oh. We're coming to the end so makes sense to empty here 
that's got it. Let's move out the way. So yeah, if it gets uh, if it gets too low, um, then we'll uh, we'll go and grab some fuel. But at the moment, it seems to be at a level that will uh, that should be fine. The headlands are done, and uh, she's beginning to cut into the field now. I, there's no point in me leaving this point because she uh, basically she's not going to get full anytime soon um we can probably take about another five and a half thousand liters in the trailer so i've asked i've asked her to let me know when uh, when the combine has that much in it um there's only about half a tank on the combine i think that so um, as soon as she she reaches that or gets close to that sort of uh, four and a half thousand uh, What we'll do is we'll go and empty And that means we should leave the combine about as empty as we can When uh, when we head up uh, It's gonna be Probably the last cut on here, which will help because it will keep the combine nice and empty uh, as uh, as she goes for the next cut in uh, for the next set of lands on here. Just trying to see. Yeah, where is she? There we are. There's the combine. Uh, yeah, so as, uh, as she does this second uh, cutting, we should be able to uh, leave her with a nice empty tank for doing that. Uh, it's also going to be the longest bit of this, this fiddly little triangle that's down the bottom of the field here. Uh, that she's yeah she's got one more bit on that I think and then uh, and then we'll pop round and empty when um, when she comes to do that last little bit and with her doing that section there I'm expecting yeah one more cut up here on this side I'm hoping so, otherwise we're going to have to shoot up the other end of the field and unload. But she should come down there, get that corner bit, I think. Yeah, and then uh, and then head back down. And that will, uh, that will mean that we're nicely sorted for emptying this, going up this side here, and then uh, going and tipping and uh, having this tipped really well it's, it looks like we're gonna have about two and a half trailer loads off here um that's a good amount that's about forty thousand liters off this field uh together with the uh i think it was about trailer and a bit that we had off the other field um we're gonna get well over fifty thousand liters of barley off here this year um absolutely brilliant i'm very very pleased with that amount uh, that will keep us going very well. There we go. And bring it in a little bit. And let's catch up. There we are. So we should be able to top this trailer off now with this. And, uh, and then we'll be able to go and get it tipped. I need a little bit more to the front of the trailer. We're fairly back heavy at the moment. I can feel it um, lifting the back wheels off, which is uh, never a good sensation when you're karting. That's oh, very far forwards. Uh, almost there. A little bit more. Got any more for me? No, it's empty. I think we're almost full though, so uh, yeah, let's go tip this nice empty combine for the cut-in. And uh, yeah, there's no point in us waiting around for maybe a couple of hundred litres uh, to top that trailer off because it will just, well, it'll do it very, very quickly and we'll leave the combine with quite a bit in its tank. So yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Speaking to uh, Elizabeth on the radio, the yield off this uh, off this field is about ninety percent of uh, of really a standard yield for barley. So it's not perfect. Um, there are still ways we can probably optimize this field. Um, 
which will uh, which will work well for us and and will help us to uh, to get better yields off here uh, we need to uh, as i said part of that will absolutely be come on tip it there we go uh will absolutely be uh, optimizing for our soil types at the moment we're not doing that we uh, we we don't quite know what soil types and everything we've got um and as a result we are uh not uh optimizing for uh those soil types uh, as soon as we can do that uh we will do as i said before it's gonna cost us a couple of thousand maybe uh to get that work done um, at this point, though, that is very much worth it. If it um, if it helps us to uh, maximise what we can do on the farm, it's it's going to make a big difference to us. Uh, but it's um, uh, time will tell. Um, it will, yeah. And as I said before, it'll help us select where is the best arable areas for our field, and which bits are for our farm, and which bits are. Uh, best left to meadow growth now i was going to pick up the combine coming okay back down that way but i think we're probably best off picking up on the return yeah actually no the return down this bit we'll empty this out looking like we're gonna have another half a trailer full maybe by the time it does here and then yeah i think it's probably going to finish up this top corner as well so if we unload and uh, and prepare here that will uh, that should work out quite well for us and uh, and yeah we'll, we'll be most efficient with this uh we've got a lot of bale picking up to do over the next few weeks um has uh, yeah we've got 140 bales across the two fields that we uh, we bailed up uh recently uh, we need to get, start getting those hay bales in because that's our winter feed for our cows. And then, um, yeah, we probably need to get now that we're now that we're heading into autumn. We uh, we need to get the cows some uh, silage made. Oh, come on, accelerate! There we go. Only going to take you to the end of the field. Gotta watch for when she stops. There we go. Yeah, just empty that out into the trailer. Should be about half a trailer full, I think. Uh, has she got any the other side? Yeah, she's going to finish up this top end as well. There we go. So we'll pull round, get out of the way. And I think there's only one wits worth there for the combine. So... Oh, wow, there's such a little amount left at this end. We position ourselves just sort of here-ish. Then uh, Combine should be able to empty and finish off, I think. Should work perfectly. So the Combine's pulling in about six tons a uh, hectare, I think. Uh, let's unload the last of this. Perfect position. Uh, so yeah, about six tons a hectare, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've got well over uh, two full trailers on here. Uh, yeah, we're probably about seventy-ish uh, percent of uh, a third full trailer. Um, so uh, that's all good. Uh, the combine was nowhere near in danger uh, of running out of fuel at the end of that. Uh, <laughs> plenty of Elizabeth tells me there's plenty of fuel left in the combine, so uh, yeah, she wasn't she wasn't worried. Um, kept a good eye on it. Should have enough to get back to the dairy, which is the important thing, um, as it means that she will be able. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, as it means uh, that they won't have to leave a load of fuel in the combine over winter. Uh, this is the last job that it has to do this year. Uh, and so, yeah. Um, she's asked if uh, we just take it through the yard. Give it a wash down uh, before she takes it back. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this. Uh, I'm going to take the header trailer back up there. Uh, so that we can get 
the header unloaded and onto the uh, and onto the um, uh, trailer so that she can get it home. I actually missed the turn I meant to take. Never mind. But yeah, there's the header trailer. So we'll get that. We'll get this tipped and then we'll go and take that back up to the field, I think. Through dodging our chickens round into our shed and yeah that is a very nice amount of barley we've got off here this year uh we'll be able to get this all sold in the not too distant future and uh and yeah should make a uh, nice tidy profit off that this year not quite as much as we made off the silage earlier in the year um but uh yeah should still make uh enough for it to have been worth it on the farm once we get this tipped out there we go and let that come down I need to turn the lever off once it does there we go right down perfect right let's just drop that off we'll uh, we'll go and put that away in the right place later uh, when I uh, get the wire back across here to stop the chickens having a go at it. In the meantime, I'm just going to pop over here and grab this. And then uh, we can get the header back on the trailer. Alright, hook that up. Now, which way does this want to hook that way? Now, uh, she said that uh, she's willing to take the camera for a minute and, uh, and you know, show you while we're hooking it up. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes once I've got this in position. There she is waiting for us at the side of the field. So I'll bring this in here. Watch getting that through. Yep, clear. And we want it to load up on the left-hand side. There we go. And that should be about right. So I've turned the engine off. Right, so she has uh, brought the combine up here. It's all lined up. Let's... Detach that, detach that, and then if we step back, she has detached it, I think. Right, and we can get back in here while she moves the combine back. And with that done, we can pull forwards. Start her up. And, yeah. I'm going to get this back to the yard and give it a hose down. We've both the combine and the tractor back at the yard. Uh, Elizabeth's joined me here, and we're just going to... I'm just going to get this a hose down quickly while she's uh, nicely out of the way and uh, not going to get wet. Um, yeah. Done well, this uh, Tucano. I think they've had this a few years. Certainly looks like it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. But um, looking very good. And then we might as well give the fast track a wash as well it's been a long old summer for this fast track um especially with the the mechanical issue we had uh, a couple of weeks ago now that that's fixed uh, it was actually an issue with the hydraulics um which is why i was mucking around with it at the back um but now that's all fixed uh it's uh it's working uh, beautifully again there we go get that uh, that old way it was good to find that old weight around this farm and then we'll get the header done as well and uh yeah this is uh this has been quite good i don't i don't know this this combine is pretty good for the farm i think we could probably get away with a smaller one if we wanted to um but i think in general this combine is a good size for things over here um but anyway i that is uh that is the harvest done for the year for both the dairy and 
the uh and this farm as well and brompton farm so uh yeah we're gonna leave it here for this vlog which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from the farm please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye